Good morning. Good morning, friends and family. And everybody in between. Whatever that means. Hello. We're here in Kingston. Kingston, Ontario. And uh, slept at this Petro Pass. I just got up today. Uh, I'm glad I didn't <laughs> shower yet because man is it hot and humid outside. It's crazy. And I had to clean up my trailer and get it ready for the next driver because I'm dropping this empty off and picking up a loaded trailer down in Waterloo on the other side of Toronto. I had to have this trailer all ready for the other person. So we're gonna do the switcheroo and I just, I was just gushing sweat. It was so humid outside. So uh, we're gonna go switch trailers and we're gonna find a place to have a shower and then we're gonna begin our journey down to North Carolina. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna cross through Buffalo, New York from Fort Erie, Ontario. And make our way down the East Coast. It's gonna be hard to avoid all the big cities because the East Coast is pretty much one big city. So let's hope that uh, we're gonna sneak through on the weekend. Ugh. I don't know if it gets worse on the weekend or not. I gotta check the the news. I don't know if I trust the news either. I gotta find out, I'll check, check around, see if there's any uh, trouble going on in the big cities down there still. And uh, if there's any maybe places I should avoid. You know, it wasn't that long ago when I didn't have to worry about this kind of thing, but now I always have to look ahead at my route, look what cities I'm going through, go and try to find a bunch of different news sources to see what's going on in those cities just to make sure that, you know, there hasn't been something new that's sparked and, you know, freeways being blocked, people being hauled out of their trucks and, and trailers being looted. I know it's not that bad. I, I know it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be in my mind right now, but in a way it sort of is, but in very select areas. It's like you can live in one city and not even notice that another part of the city is like burning down if you're not paying attention. They're, these are huge cities. It's just, I wanna make sure I don't go through these areas. I don't know the bad areas of the cities. I go through Chicago quite a bit and I know the south side is kinda of, meh. But when I go through these cities, I don't know what areas I should avoid or what areas I might not be welcome in. I know there's areas in a lot of cities where I probably shouldn't walk into, especially at night or roll into. No idea where they are because I'm just passing through, right? So just gotta be a little bit more vigilant, a little bit more careful. Just look ahead, see if there's anything new. And before you know it, election year will be over and hopefully everything will settle down a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like what's going on in the world at all. And I know the UK is having problems. Uh, in Canada, it's the same thing as in the US, just smaller scale. If it's happening in the US, you can be guaranteed that it's happening in Canada as well. Just smaller scale. And uh, I don't like it. It's just so much division and hatred. But, you know, as uh, bad as everything looks right now, let's try to stay positive and let's enjoy what we love to do most. Let's go and do some trucking. And off we go. The wheels are turning. The day has officially begun. No take backs. Let's see if I can do a little loop to doop here. ways, look up and down, forwards and back, nobody coming, and forward just to make sure. They plant these trees right on the side of the road so you can't actually see if there's traffic coming or not. That's okay. I like trees. What? Don't mouth off to me this early in the morning, Karen. Hit a wall of water. It was literally a wall. It was sunshiny, and then all of a sudden, boom! Drove straight into it. It looked like I was driving into a cloud. I don't think the camera does it justice. The camera sees a little bit better than I do, I guess. <laughs> camera never blinks. yet. About two hours away from where we're going to switch trailers in Waterloo, 
if there's no traffic in Toronto. Now, today I'm filming this as a Saturday. As long as you're not blocking highways or stuff like that. Oh, well, look at that. We, that was a short little... Anyways, we should be able to get through Toronto pretty quickly. I guess we'll see what happens. And then we'll uh, go get our trailer and we'll figure out how far we're going to get tonight. We'll get somewhere in the U.S. Well, we got through that rainstorm and enjoyed some nice warm sunshine and it looks like I'm driving into the next rainstorm. Lovely. This is Toronto, or as locals call it, I think this is Scarborough? You Torontoners are going to have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section. There is technically a whole bunch of cities that are gathered together in the greater Toronto area, but I just call it all Toronto. It's all equally... Ugh. Bad drivers everywhere. Not too bad right now. I'm hard on Toronto. Well, that's because it's Toronto. And it's sort of like my duty to be hard on Toronto. Especially being from the West. But even people from Ontario are hard on Toronto. <laughs> Poor Toronto is always getting kicked around. It's an alright city. It's an alright city. It's a... Uh, definitely not even close to the worst city you can find yourself in on this planet. It's a... Uh, it's a nice place to be. That's why so many people move here, right? People from every corner of the planet. Toronto's the most diverse city on the planet. People from absolutely every corner. I bet you there are citizens here, a good group of citizens, from every country of the world in Toronto. So it's obviously there's something here that attracts people to come live here. It's not for me, but a lot of other people like it, so we don't all have to like the same stuff. Come on down, check it out. Well, I guess you can't now. Everything's closed down. Borders are closed down. I prefer seclusion. It looks like we're going to miss this rainstorm as well. It looks like it's out over the water. Uh, Toronto downtown is to our left, I believe. And then the lake is that way. Is it Lake Ontario? And then on the other side of the lake is New York State, if I'm correct. I don't have a map in front of me right now, so I can't confirm any of this, but... Here we are on the famous 401 highway, where the speed limits are a suggestion for most people. The speed limit is technically 100 Welcome kilometers an hour, keep to the but, left on you know... Wesley Street, Bayview if Long Street, dot and then keep to the left in 610 meters. They give you a little bit of wiggle room, it seems. You know, you want a new 140, 150? Doesn't seem like the cops are gonna pull you over, but don't in 600 meters. Don't go and do it. Left on Leslie Street, Bayview if Long Street, dot and then keep to the left in 610 meters. Don't go flying through your speeding when you get pulled over. Say the trucker Josh said it was okay, because I'm telling you it's not. The tickets are huge in Ontario. When you do get a ticket, when you do get pulled over, when they decide to actually pull you over, it's bad. Your insurance goes up on your vehicle meters. quite a bit. To the left on Quiet, Karen! West Losing my patience with you. <clears throat> Rude! She's gonna talk again right now. She's very yappy. We're in Toronto. What I was saying is, if your insurance goes up, your license goes up, you get big demerit points against Continue you. Continue this road for seven kilometers. It's not a good idea to break the law, okay? We have them there for a reason. Let's respect them. Well, we've got our new friend here, all hooked up, ready to go. It looks like those are brand new doors too. Very nice, very nice. So we're gonna pull this trailer with us all the way down to North Carolina. We're going to Conover. North Carolina. Conover, Conover, Conover. North Carolina. It's a little north of Charlotte, North Carolina. Everyone knows where Charlotte is, right? Famous little town you guys got down there. Made the news, let's say, a few times. Whoops. 
right. Let's, uh, let's go get a shower. I'm gonna go to the London Flying J Park, grab some fuel for this bad girl. Maybe take this little guy for a walk, this good boy. This is a bad girl and this is a good boy. See what I did there? That means they're both good in my eyes. The English language is a little weird. Okay. 1,220 kilometers we got to go down there. So we'll get a few hours down the road today and we'll do the rest tomorrow, deliver first thing Monday morning. Just having a conversation with Karen here, which is very hard to do, because she's, you think I complain a lot, man, Karen. But uh, I'm actually not going past London, Ontario. So we're not going to go to the London, at least I don't, she said we weren't. Oh yeah, yeah, we're not going past London, Ontario. We're going towards Buffalo, New York. I see, I see. Yeah, London's further south from here. That's We'd be passing there if we'd be crossing into Detroit or Port Huron, Michigan. All right, so we're gonna go to the Flying J in Fort Erie. It's, uh, how far away is it here? 171 kilometers, it's, uh, 100 and 15 miles. We'll do our business there then. One thing I like about these travel plazas, they're well dispersed. You know, trucking has gotten a lot better. I keep saying that. Uh, I, I hate hearing how people say, oh, trucking has gotten so terrible. I agree that the rates could, could be higher, the freight rates, but I get paid by the mile now and I'm happy right now. Uh, Things are going really good for me, but I can understand for owner operators and people who own companies, freight rates haven't gone up like they should have, like the cost of living has gone up. But uh, for me as a company driver now, uh, it's it's fine. But trucking in itself, with the technology, I even like the e-logs. I'm a fan of the e-logs, all right? I'm a rare breed, I know, and that's why you watch me. Because I have all these interesting, weird opinions that you can't understand. I know. E-logs, I like them. We got Google Maps. Every time I go to a customer that I'm not familiar with, I just look it up on Google Maps, Google Earth, zoom in, I can find out exactly where their loading docks are. I can figure out how to get there. We have all these apps that like Trucker Path that tells us if the scales are open and if there's parking at truck stops and where they all are and you know, <coughs> show you how far away they are. We've got all these social media apps and stuff that can keep us in contact. I have video chats with my wife multiple times every day. It used to be not too long ago. I can still remember my dad. Every day he would stop at a truck stop, go into like a little private phone booth and call home. That's how you'd call home. There were no cell phones. There was no internet, like mobile internet, smartphones, apps and stuff like that. Like trucking has gotten a lot better, in my opinion. The good far outweighs the bad in all the things that have changed over the years. I, I love it. I love trucking. I love it. What else would I want to do but this? You know, I could have been anything. I chose to be a truck driver. I got accepted into university. I could have gone there. Like I said, I was going to go and be a cop. Uh, I was going to go study criminology. And uh, it was, a, I think, a four-year course. I was going to maybe study a few other things along the way just to broaden my... Uh, what I could be useful for if there was no vacancies in the police force when I graduated. Because they're not always hiring. And... Uh, yeah, I wanted to be a cop or a trucker, but I wanted to be a trucker more. So here we are. Maybe one day I'll still be a cop. I mean, I'm in my 30s now. Apparently, I'm the average age of hiring. I'd have to get myself in shape, don't get me wrong, and go through some training courses. And I don't know, maybe I'd be a cop. I'd love to be a cop in a local area, though. Like, I wouldn't mind being a member of the RCMP, but then you got to travel and be posted all over Canada. Because your first two postings, I believe the first eight years, this they may have changed this by now, but they can be anywhere but your home province. So I'm from Manitoba, so they'll post me anywhere in Canada but Manitoba. And you have to do northern duty as well. So you're all over the country, you're constantly uprooting your family and moving them all over the country. And the Winnipeg police, they, they're not hiring at all. At least not people who look like me. So <laughs> I went in there and applied while well, I was going to apply and they told me straight to my face that they were looking for uh, visible minority and women applicants only. 
people like me need not apply. So that kind of turned me off. I was kind of upset about that. I felt that was kind of racist. But uh, well, it's the world we live in now. It's so backwards, right? Uh, but other than that, you know, if Steinbeck had a local police force, maybe I'd try to get on there. I'd love to police my own local area and help my own community, but meh. We're happy trucking. Let's keep trucking. How about that? I like being out here on the road. I like seeing the country, seeing America. What a beautiful continent we live on. What, what a couple of great countries we have here. Like, I, I love it. All of Canada, all of the U.S. Really happy where God's placed me. Fort Erie. It's a pretty cool fort, if you ask me. Swing our way in here. This is where I bought my steer tires for the Volvo just before I brought it back on the lease. Had I known... 200 meters, turn left on, north to this road and then approaching destination on the right side. Yeah, it's on the left, meters. Karen. Had I known that I was uh, going to return the lease and everything else was going to go wrong, I wouldn't have put those new steer tires on there, but oh well, at least it is what it is. I'm going to grab some fuel here because we are on the red line. I don't like to be that low. Usually I'd wait to fuel in the States, but I don't think I have enough time or enough fuel to get down there. Grab some fuel, we're gonna find a parking spot, we're gonna go have a shower, and then we're gonna continue. I choose this pump. This one right here. Which one are you? Pump 18. I choose you. Here we are on Peace Bridge. It's a very peaceful bridge, connecting two peaceful countries. For one kilometer, take the entrance to the left on well, 190 South. <laughs> well, we're peaceful to each other anyway. I mean, not always so peaceful within, but hey, we do what we can, right? We love each other. Here's both flags on the right, Canada and US. Come on, Karen. Get with it. Let them know. Crossing border, entering New York. There you go. It's official. It's Karen official. Back here visiting our friends. This is Buffalo. No buffaloes here though, as far as I know. No bison either. Commonly mistaken. This is where the Buffalo Sabres are based at. I always keep thinking that the Sabres are further away, but yeah, they're right close to Toronto, actually. Beautiful city here. So we got another three and a half hours we can drive tonight yet. Let's see how far we go. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Pursue your happiness. We're right up in that top little uh, section of it goes up to the lake. Let's see if there's any parking for us here. I'm getting a little tired. I figure we'd check here first and if there's none here we'll go to the next one which is about a half hour down the road. Looks like we'll be okay here though. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, which one do we want to... I'm gonna go into this spot here. So that I'm between these two, then I know who my neighbors are. Right in here, and neither of them have a reefer. Hopefully none of them have a really loud APU. <laughs> I'm picky. What? I'd like to know Keep who my neighbors left. are. What do you think there, Diesel? What do you think? Tell me what you think, buddy. Is it time for bed? 
I can't show, man. I'm a tired weasel. Look at me. She'll be tired. Look at the beds all the way back there. The sleeper is so huge. It's a bit of a hike. You want to go for a walk? I shouldn't have said that. You were just outside for a walk. You were just outside, man. Don't look at me like that. We just spent 15 minutes out there. Time to go to bed now. You want to go to bed? It all sounds good right now, doesn't it? <laughs> Why don't you go in the back, bud? Why don't you go in the back there? Come on. Go in the back. Come on. Go in the bed. There you go. Get comfy. Good boy. So that is that. That was the day. We are here uh, just into Pennsylvania at the Welcome Center. Just in from New York State along the top of the state there. Right where Pennsylvania sort of goes up to the lake. I guess that's their access to the waterways there. We're gonna go to bed. We have 919 kilometers or about, what, 550 miles to do tomorrow. It's gonna be a full fun day tomorrow. Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you hit the bell so that you don't miss it. We're gonna make a video. We're gonna be going through the rest of Pennsylvania. Now let's see. Let's see all the states we're gonna be going through tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a state filled day. Let's see. All right, so through Pennsylvania through, what is that? Well, probably West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina. I don't think we're gonna dip into Maryland on this trip, but uh, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, the other Virginia, all the way down to North Carolina to uh, a town called uh, Conover, or something like that. Canover, Conover, Canover, something. North of Charlotte, North Carolina. So yeah, it'll it'll be good. Hope you tune in. We'll see you then. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. <laughs>